Hi folks, my perspective here. When we go to school, right, we just assume that the education system is correct, that the information is tried and tested. So we trust it, and this is what we learn. We never question the education system. For example, the moon. Now we know that the phases of the moon are constant every month. But the issue arises, how is this possible? If the Earth is orbiting the Sun and the Moon is orbiting the Earth, so the Moon's orbit is supposed to be one orbit once every 30 days. Some will say it's 27 or 28. So the issue is, let's work on 30 days. The problem is, you can only ever see a new moon in the day if that's the case and you'll never see a full moon because the earth's shadow will always be blocking the moon out remember we are told that the, the moon is at a five degree tilt from the ecliptic plane and the earth and the sun are level with the ecliptic plane that means the moon's shadow once a month should fall across the earth in the middle of the day and it should cover the earth the entire day we could never see a new moon in the night it will only ever happen in the day and this is not the case so we see something is happening it's a kind of magic What we're going to do is we're going to look at the issues that are involved and to help us understand the issues we're going to a little bit deeper we're going to use a helicopter right and by looking at this helicopter and we're going to be looking at the sun and looking at these two the sun and the helicopter we're going to endeavor to understand what would happen if what we are taught in the edu education system if that information is correct and if it's true so at times you're going to be on the helicopter looking out or you're going to be just outside the helicopter and observing what the helicopter would observe and the light and shadows on the helicopter and we'll also be using a ball and moving this ball around the helicopter and if you're on the helicopter if you were still what would you see and if the helicopter was moving what would you see and hopefully understanding this will help us get a better idea and the information and what we see will prove that what we are being taught in the education system is actually not true we are being deliberately deceived right so let's look at this helicopter here is a helicopter the one is stationary it's hovering and we have another helicopter flying in a circle around that helicopter so the helicopter flying in a circle then can fly at a constant speed right there's no issues Right, you have one light source lighting up both helicopters. So in, in a sense, this is what we're being told is happening with the Earth and the Moon. Right? The phases of the Moon are constant. And the problem is, this helicopter is fixed. You see, if the helicopter was moving, 
and the other helicopter was flying in a circle around that helicopter. The helicopter that's flying in a circle cannot keep at a constant speed. It has to fly faster when going in the direction of the other helicopter that's flying in a straight line and slow down. Otherwise it could never keep up to pace with that helicopter. So the speed of the helicopter flying in a circle cannot be constant. It's impossible. The helicopter, if, this, if the helicopter that's flying in a straight line is traveling at 100 kilometers an hour, the helicopter flying in a circle has to travel faster than that speed. Remember when the helicopter's its motion now is in front, its, its angle is not the same. Its angle is constantly changing. That helicopter has to fly at a constant, has to fly faster, and its speed has to change for it to keep the same distance between the two helicopters. So the, the greater the distance between the helicopter flying in a circle, the faster it would have to fly, because the greater distance it has to cover in the same period of time that the helicopter is covering in the same allotted time. Does that make sense? That's an issue. This will affect the speed of the helicopter and it will affect the light. So keep your eye on the front, the two helicopters in the front. The helicopters behind them just are showing you the path where the helicopters come from. So if we focus on the front helicopter in a straight line and the front helicopter doing the circle, this is what would happen. You see the helicopter flying in a circle isn't flying in a circle but is flying in loops. It has to because it will cover a longer distance when flying to the front of the helicopter flying in a straight line. Now it will angle its motion, fly behind that helicopter. Right, so keep your eye on the front helicopter. So what does this help us understand? You understand that the moon would have to do the same. The moon's path would actually be a long loop and not a circle. So the moon's phases then cannot be consistent. So if the earth is traveling at a speed of over 110,000 kilometers an hour, the moon's speed would have to be faster than that. And the fact that the distance between the earth and the moon, remember the, the, the moon orbits around the earth once every so-called 30 days, its speed would have to be faster than 110,000 kilometers an hour and its speed has to change. Right. So therefore, the moon phases cannot be constant. And it calls into question when NASA said that they, they landed a tin can on the moon, despite the fact that the moon is traveling at this fantastic speed. Every little thing she does is magic Everything she do just turned me on Even though my life before was tragic Now I know my love when fun goes on Yes, we come to understand that there's an organization that is using magic to teach us nonsense and are lying to us. It's impossible for that NASA tin can to land on the moon if the moon's traveling at that speed. We're simply being lied to. The whole thing is fake. We're living in the real world, but they've created an illusion around us. And people think that this the earth is a spinning ball and it's an illusion, it's a lie. Let's look at light. If this helicopter is standing still and we spin a ball around this helicopter, because the helicopter is still, the light on that ball will rotate around that helicopter evenly, because that helicopter is still, it's not moving. So if you were inside the helicopter, you would see the light rotate around that ball at an even pace. 
this in effect exactly what happened to the moon. The earth would have to be standing still with the moon orbiting around the earth. That would give us even lighting on its path around the earth. But remember the earth we are told is is orbiting the sun and the moon is orbiting the earth as the earth orbits the sun. Let's go back to the helicopter. If this helicopter is moving, and let's say this helicopter is moving at 200 kilometers an hour. Remember, its path would be in a loop. So as the ball catches up with the helicopter, it will be longer. Its path will be longer on that side. And as it moves towards the sun now, its path will be shorter. So the phases will actually change. It has to. And the speed of the ball is not constant. It cannot be. It's physically impossible. Yet to the education system, we are told that it does. And it's impossible. If it does, it's magic. It doesn't work in reality. We live in the real world. This is what would happen in the real world. What we have been taught by the education system is simply a magic trick. It's not real. So if the helicopter is moving, right, and you were to move around that helicopter, as the ball moves in front of the helicopter, the phase would be shorter. As the as the ball now moves to the back end of the helicopter, it will change its speed. It has to. This side it will be longer, more time in the sun. The moon phases are constant. Also think of the path. You see. We are told that the, the moon orbits the earth 13 times every year. So as the earth orbits around the, the sun, on one orbit, the moon has orbited around the earth 13 times. Therefore the paths would actually overlap. The phases cannot then be constant. Because the position of the moon would overlap. The moon phases cannot be constant. Right, so as the, as the moon orbits around the earth, right, means when it's on the other side of the sun, the moon phases have to swap over. You are on the other side of the sun. So they'll say to you, well, there's several days, and no, 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 no. You cannot talk your way out of this. It does not matter how many times the earth spins, the point is it's the position of the moon. you're in a circle six months later the moon's on the opposite side of the sun on the opposite side of the earth therefore the moon phases have to swap over every six months and they do not the moon phases are constant so this entire system of the earth orbiting the sun and the moon orbiting the earth is physically impossible this is not what we see in the real world. This is an illusion. And you cannot escape the fact that the moon phases have to swap over every six months. At night time, you'll see a full moon. Six months later at night time, you cannot see a full moon. So the issue is then, just to recap, the speed. The earth is actually moving around the sun. Therefore its phases cannot be constant. It's physically impossible. So this is a trick. They tell you it's possible and they'll do math camp calculations. It does not matter. It's a trick. It's physically not possible. So, we know that the people who have come up with these things are intelligent people. 
they're not fools. It means it's deliberate. It means what we are taught about our environment and the makeup of the earth and its motion and what's happening in the in the skies above us. The information has been false, deliberately falsified. And the purpose of it is to mislead us. So they'll tell us that the Earth's orbit is in the oval, right? The ecliptic path is not in a perfect circle. That means if we cut that, that slice into 13 slices, well, the Moon would have to travel faster and travel slower in certain phases as it orbits the Earth, as the Earth orbits the Sun. Right? It's physically not possible. So the distance that the Earth travels, they tell us, is roughly around about 970 million kilometers. So for every moon phase, it will cover a distance of 75 million kilometers. Well, it cannot be. It cannot be evenly spaced. We're being delighted to. The entire system, the, the education system, is building up a fabricated illusion in the minds of children. I've been through that system. Most of you watching this video have been through that system. And we've been lied to, we've been misled to such a horrible degree, it's, it's insane. It's a kind of magic. same system it's robbed us it's tricked us we go to war we kill each other they feed us propaganda we end up hating each other and slaughtering each other world war one world war two is evident of this fact vietnam war all the wars in africa so say so gravity is keeping the moon locked to the earth and the earth locked to the sun well, why isn't it spinning around that's what would happen. The Earth can still spin at the same distance and the Moon can still orbit the Earth and these things can move in space. What is keeping them moving in a circle, perfectly balanced? They say there's global warming, yet the melting ice caps <coughs> doesn't affect the spin of the Earth. We understand that there's an organization that the Bible calls Babylon the Great that has everything under its control. It's made everything rotten. The political system is rotten. The religious system is rotten. The banking system is rotten. And so is the education system rotten. And in fact, there's a big snake in the rotten basket and nobody's seeing the snake. So they'll tell you now there's gravity. You see that an object can rotate and, and spin around another object and the motion of that spinning object will not affect the speed and the motion of the object that is spinning around itself well this is magic this is not real this is physically physically impossible Everybody!